Hey guys, are you into RC cars like I am? Then this little box should be on your bucket list. Stay tuned. So guys, in today's video we're going to have a look at this little box. So inside this little box you will find a very nice and interesting goodie that you really want to have if you have an RC car. So let me get everything out of the box so I can show you what's inside there. Inside the box you will find all of this. So what is this exactly? Well this is an FPV camera kit which you can mount on or inside your RC car. And it even comes with a screen. And I paid only around 60 bucks I think it was for this whole kit. I think that's amazing. So this little thing is the camera. So this camera can be mounted on top of your RC car. Or if you're having clear windows inside your RC car. And then you can drive it via this little display like you're sitting inside the car. I think that really is amazing. So this is a full color screen. Uh, yeah this play with a built-in 2S LiPo battery, we've got two uh, 5.8 GHz antennas which you can also change the direction of and we've got a lot of cables and mounting systems for, uh, for on your transmitter. So let me put something together and then I will come back to you when everything is, uh, is running. So guys, everything has been mounted and everything is working as you can see. And this thing really looks awesome. So the camera itself, it runs on 5 volt. So just keep in mind, so don't put it straight away into your receiver. Or you have to be sure that it's running on 5 volt. Or use a BAC for example. So I have used a 3.7 volt lithium ion battery to power the camera. And as you can see, you know, it's not 5 volt. But it's working like it should. So we've got a camera sitting right over there. And just look at the angle of the screen guys. Or sorry, of the lens. We've got a very very wide angle and that really helps if you're going to drive over uh, yeah the Corsair for example so this thing antenna really looks amazing so let's have a closer look at the screen and all the functions display can be mounted with this little bracket to your lanyard hold right over there so all the screws and the brackets are included in this kit and that's always a good thing so the bracket itself it's not the sturdiest one on the market but you know it's uh, sturdy enough to hold the weight of the display so that's all fine so this Dumbo RC transmitter has got a display but when you're using the display like this you really can't read that so yeah that's not the best solution but you know it is what it is so system you will also find this little piece so i have used a long one as you can see but you can also use the shorter one instead of a longer one and then you can access all the buttons and the display so yeah i didn't notice that before the display itself it doesn't look like a high definition camera but everything is uh, very clearly visible you know the colors are pretty decent as well i'm not sure about the resolution but i will put it in the screen if i can find it but you know everything can be seen very uh, yeah clearly and yeah so the wide angle lens just look at the lens guys so we've got a very wide angle and that's very useful if you're going to drive over the obstacles so you've got a very good understanding of the yeah the way that you're going to drive so that's always a good thing so inside here you will find the menu as well so press the ok button right over there then you will enter the menu we've got a brightness which you can adjust we have got the contrast the saturation and a volume so this camera doesn't have got a microphone but if you have a camera with a microphone you can even transmit the volume or the sound so that's a very nice option so and you can change the language into chinese if you would like to do so but we are english so we are doing good in english so this is your on off switch right over there so when you're not in the menu you can use the plus and the minus to scan for uh, different channels and we've got the auto search uh, button right over there and this little thing changes the display but i'm not sure yeah why you would like to have the lines and but you know it is what it is so yeah overall the build quality feels very sturdy and the image quality is okay you know it's not the best on the market but you know for the money this is all fine all fine so yeah let's mount it onto a car and let's drive outside to see how this performs so guys, the camera has been mounted to a car, so this is the MB Scaler made by Rock Hobby. So this is like a Willys Jeep, but unlicensed, and therefore it's made under the Rock Hobby brand. But this little car is one of my most favorite cars, you know, I will put the link down below to the review video of this little car. It's an old video, but you know, it doesn't really matter, this thing is still fun even these days. So yeah, the image quality looks pretty decent, so the thing that you are seeing isn't uh, yeah, really the image quality, but there is no DVR built inside the display, so I really can't show you the actual quality but you know it's decent enough to go around this little track oh i lost single i think my battery died of the uh, camera just let me check that 
So guys, I have to apologize, we have to cut this video short because the camera stopped working. So I had some LEDs at the back of here, I tried a different battery even with the BSC between there, but still I didn't get any image on the screen. So meanwhile I sent an email to the reseller of this one and they will send me a new camera because they think the camera is faulty. But you know, things can happen even to me. But you know, for the money, I think that this is still a very nice toy to have. So I paid around 60 bucks I think it was, so I'll put the link down below to this, uh, to this screen and the camera so you can check it out for yourself and for the money i think that you will have tons of fun just stick it onto your rc car or inside your rc car or maybe on a plane or on a helicopter as well maybe a boat but then you have to waterproof the case or something um, yeah maybe that's possible i'm not sure about that but you know for the money i think you'll have tons of fun with this little camera setup all right guys that was it for today thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel if you got any questions or suggestions leave a comment below and i will see you in the next video Bye bye